very fancy. I'm uh, maybe maybe too fancy for me. Dapper, yeah, Molly. It's calling me Dapper. Good evening, guys, from Davao City, Philippines. It's actually our last evening in Davao before we leave, and I need a haircut before we head to El Nido. So we are heading, well, we're on a hunt. We're on a hunt for a barbershop. I was trying to find a local street side one, but literally everyone's closed because it's nighttime. So we've headed to the SN Lenang, one of the big shopping malls here. Fingers crossed we can get a trim. Uh, how long? So, there's a big answer. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. It's fine. Thank you. It's very fancy in here. We've come to Bruno's Barbershop and you have to tick what you want. You know, for like fade on the side, is that just men's haircut? Yes, sir. Men's is cut. Uh huh. I'm gonna write my name. Do you know how to spell it? If I can remember it. <laughs> there's a cue. This is uh, not completely what I was hoping for. I was hoping for a street cut, but the vowel. Like any city, don't read the rubbish you hear about this city. Very fancy. I'm ending up with a high end haircut. I hope it's good. Hi. Thank you. Just interrupting today's video because we've noticed that quite a few of you are not following us on Instagram. So make sure you head over to our Instagram because that is where you can check up to date where we are traveling in the world. You can message us, that's where we can respond to you, talk to you directly. And we are doing a lot of Philippines giveaways. So make sure you are following us on Instagram at Dublin Travel. Now back to the video. Thank you. Uh, could I get uh, like a low to medium skin fade? Skin fade, yes, please. And then at the front, I like shape these bits. Yeah. And that is it. Perfect. That's everything. And no length on top, just, you know, thin. Just to make it thinner. Yeah. So my hair's a little bit thick. Thank you. This is very fancy. I'm uh, maybe, maybe too fancy for me. Is this the best hairdressers in Best Barbers in the Val City? Yeah. The best one. <laughs> How long has it been since you had your haircut? Two weeks. Literally two weeks since we come away. It's going low. It does. My hair goes far too quickly. People always ask us who we get our travel insurance with, and for good reason, especially coming out of the current pandemic and restrictions forever changing. There is definitely a certain level of uncertainty, but we have teamed up with Safety Wing, who have taken all our worries away. Safety Wing is a travel medical insurance for travelers outside of their home country for a short or long period of time. It also works for digital nomads too. We really love the fact that you can choose the amount of time that you want to have the cover and you can cancel at any time. This really puts you at ease knowing you are covered for your particular trip and if you don't go for as long or go for longer, you can cancel or add on more time. Everything with Safety Wing can be done online and the insurance doesn't even need to be pre-approved. There are no complex forms to fill in and you can even do it last minute and choose the date that you wish your cover to start. It's also very affordable as you do not have to choose a package that you may not need. You will only pay for the cover on the dates that you actually need your cover. So it's very wallet friendly and very, very convenient. We have linked Safety Wing in the description below and we hope that we have helped you with choosing the right travel insurance. But anyway, let's get back to the video. We are getting going on them sides. I'm telling you, this is definitely a little bit fancy for me. I was trying to find somewhere where you could get like the cheapest haircut in Davao, but that was not possible at this time of night. So we're going with the fancy haircut instead. Sides aren't looking too bad. We've actually been doing it in every country that we go to. Go get a haircut, try and film it. How long has this barbershop been here? How long has it been here, the barbershop? Uh, seven years. Seven years? Yeah. And you've been cutting hair for longer than that or seven years? Also seven years. Also seven years, well, yeah. so he started when the shop opened. So I've got a professional here in the Val. Your hair is starting to look more and more grey every time you get it's a haircut. It's not, you keep saying that, it's blonde. The sun is bringing out the blonde, but I think this was... <laughs> there's, 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 there's no greys there. I think this was 330 pesos, so that's like... Five, five pounds yeah. for like a fancy barber's like this at home. Fancy barber's like this is going to be like twenty-five pounds. So that's like 
too much to even calculate crazy. These sides are definitely starting to take shape. They do it completely differently to how they do it. Back time, that is why I like getting it all around the world. You get completely different. In Turkey, they basically set me on fire. Here, I'm getting the luxury experience, but I don't know why. Whenever it's not your own barber, you panic at first, and then it all takes shape, and in the end, you're happy. Dapper, yeah, Molly. It's calling me dapper. I feel like I'm losing weight. As soon as you get a haircut, it makes you look thinner. Definitely makes you look thinner, huh? And tan. And tan. The tan is coming out. I've got my Filipino tan. Catching the sun in the Philippines is making me more tanned. <laughs> definitely, definitely more tanned. And definitely, uh, I'm definitely losing some pounds. Well, I think I'm losing some pounds anyway. I'm not so sure. There's something quite therapeutic about it. Quite relaxing about having your hair cut. Thank you. We're getting that. So are we doing it on top now? Yeah. Just just uh, just thin. So no length. So length the same but just you know like to make it thinner. Uh, one. Uh, yeah, 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 this one, this one. <laughs> Salamat, thank you. Thank you. My hair gets very thick. Yeah. So it doesn't sit properly. See, it's very thick. I like to wear it pushed backwards, but my hair likes to grow forwards because it's very thick. So I always have to have it thin. It makes it a lot easier for me. It's filling out nicely. I'll tell you what, I was panicked at first, but he is coming through big time here, I think. I think. You never know, you never know until the end of a haircut, but um, it's nice and relaxed. Five pounds, five pounds for a luxury haircut, I can't believe that. Nice, Thank you. It? Yeah, 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 it sits nicely. It sits really good. It's just then, you know at the front, I do like yeah. shape? Yeah. Amazing, thank you. This is the technical bit. when I don't move. You have to have such steady hands. <laughs> Try not to move. I don't know how people do this. This is the bit that makes me nervous. Cut for a razor on your head. Supposedly they practice with a balloon. It's looking nice. Very fresh. I still don't know how people do that. It makes me so nervous. Cut for a razor make me nervous. If I had a beard, I wouldn't be shaving with one. Thank you. Oh wow, that is good. I thought we were done. Hot towel. Oh, that is really nice. Thank you. Wow. The full, that's the haircut, haircut experience here. Woo, that is nice, thank you. Feeling fresh. That is good. Oh wow. We're not finished. Head massage, that is good. All the pressure's there. That is nice. All this stress one is causing me. Oh, it's leaving the body, that is good. Wow. All them knots. Leaving the body. Molly, you're missing out. You don't get that every day, do you? No, nope, you are severely, severely missing out right now. I thought it was just a haircut, but this is uh, this is above and beyond. New man. Okay. Definitely a new man. I feel like I dropped the camera. Oh. Going forward. Yeah, nice. Uh-huh, all them knots. Clicking and clanking. Still not working out. Attempting. Pretending, maybe. Well, that's good. Wow. That's so good. Thank you. Thank you. Salama. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Salama. Bye-bye. Wow. Molly. 
That was good. Brothers, but no, not brothers. Bruno's Barbers. I feel like a new man. He was, uh, he was really good. I wasn't sure a couple of times during it. You always do. You panic, and then you get there in the end. He was quite shy, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really good. He's done well. He styled it really nicely. And like I say, 3.30 pesos might be cheap for us, but obviously to the average Filipino, that's probably quite an expensive haircut. But always give your barber a little bit extra. If you look after your barber, he will look after you. So that was a haircut, a massage, a face wipe down. I need to style my hair. Um, and that was it. The best way to end our last night here in Davao City. We've had the best three nights, two days. Um, we are actually heading to El Nido tomorrow. So the hair is looking nice for El Nido. I'm happy. Bruno, and that's the name of the bar. I was thinking yeah. my, my actual barber was called Bruno. Bruno's happy. We're all happy. I'll see you in El Nido. Thank you.